Let's start this course with a fundamental question. What is scientific research? In synthesis, we can define scientific research as the process aimed to create scientific knowledge that is structured, accessible and durable information able to explain complex phenomena. In particular, scientific knowledge provides a method for organizing and categorizing elements, explanation of past events, understanding cause-effect relationships, prediction of future events and potential for controlling events. Scientific knowledge leads to the formulation of theory. We can define theory as an ordered set of related constructs, definitions and propositions that provide a systematic perspective on a phenomenon through the specification of the relationships among variables with the aim of explaining or predicting phenomena. So we can say that the theory is made up of a set of definitions and terms and variables, a domain where the theory applies, a set of relationships among variables and specific predictions. So going back to our original question, we can say that scientific research is the process aimed at developing knowledge in the form of theory. In particular, in this course, we are interested in empirical research, that is research based on the observation of reality. Empirical research provides the basis to formulate theory, to prove its validity and to broaden the validity domain to similar context. We can say that we are interested in theory-driven empirical research, because theory drives research towards relevant problems. Theory provides data structure and research model. Theory helps the interpretation of results. We need to remember that without theory, empirical research becomes just data dredging, that generally does not lead to any knowledge. We can represent research as a cycle that moves back and forth between observation of reality and theory. We start from the observation of reality to create awareness of a new research problem and to discover new opportunities for the development of new theories. In this first step, we gather information, we measure and describe phenomena, and we identify the key concepts or constructs. The second step is called empirical generalization, which we draw models and frameworks, we identify categories and typologies, as well as recurrent patterns. The third step is the formulation of a theory, that is the identification and explanation of relationships among constructs. These three steps are also called theory building research that is exploratory research aimed at investigating new phenomena and developing knowledge. We typically use qualitative methodologies for this purpose, and the most common is case study, since it allows to analyze complex new phenomena in depth. This is also called inductive research, because we move from the observation of reality to infer general abstract knowledge. The research cycle continues with the fourth step, that is the formulation of hypotheses, that is the translation of theory in terms of relationships among variables that we can test empirically. The fifth step is again the observation of reality, but this time specifically aimed at measuring the variables and the relationships included in the hypothesis. The sixth and last step is the test of the hypothesis on the base of the empirical data in order to confirm the initial theory, to extend or generalize it, or rather reject and refine the original theory. The second part of the cycle is called theory testing research, that is explanatory research aimed at confirming or rejecting the preliminary theory 
through empirical data and statistical analysis. We typically use quantitative methodologies for this purpose, and survey research is one of the most common, since it allows to gather structured data from a large number of observations, which can then be analyzed statistically. This is also called deductive research, because we move from an abstract theory to the empirical measurement and validation. The research cycle is a continuous loop. After theory testing, we start again a theory building phase to explore new phenomena and to look for new explanations. Then we will move again to theory testing and so on. Therefore, the two methodologies presented, case study and survey research, are actually complementary, since together they allow to conduct both theory building and theory testing research, thus completing the research cycle.